The next one is called shallow soil. Somebody say shallow soil. Shallow soil. This soil represents uh, those who have no depth, no root. Those that will drop out at the first sign of persecution. I'll stay in the church as long as everything is going well. I'll sing as if everything is going well. But I want you to know there is no perfect church. And if you find one, don't join it because you'll mess it up. But I want to tell you, brothers and sisters, it's problems in all churches. You're going to have clashes with all kinds of people. But it irritates the heart of God when you stop worshiping God based on what somebody else has done. It was God that woke you up this morning. Why are you going to stop singing for God based on what somebody else has done to hurt your feelings? Shallow song. You're worried about uh, when folks persecute you. You're going to be talked about. If you shout, folks going to talk about you. If you wave your hands, folks will talk about you. If you say man, folks will talk about you. But if you got a reason to say man, if you got a reason to shout, you ought to shout because you know what God has done for you. Nobody has to tell you to shout. When you got up this morning, you should have gotten up with a hallelujah and a thank you, Jesus. But you can't afford to let shallow Christians cause you to have no death. Folks will look at you funny if you do certain things. You're praying too long. You're reading too much. Uh, you're, you're praying too much. Oh, but they don't know like you know what God is doing in your life. Don't let folks talk you out of your blessing. Folks will talk you out of your blessing when you know you're blessed. When you know you ought to be shouting and running around and lifting up holy hands. Folks will tell you it don't take all of that. But they were there when you was in the hospital all by yourself and God showed up in the hospital room. And not only did he show up but he touched your body. He healed your body. And shallow stuff. Somebody gonna hurt your feelings quiet, you gonna stop saying for God. Uh, she gonna hurt your feelings, you gonna stop ushering, and you doing it for God? Who you doing it for? The people or for God? You will have trials and tribulations, but after a while, God gonna fix everything. He calls something uh, there's thorn infested soil. Right. Yes, yes, yes. This soil represents those who allow the deceitfulness of riches to sniff off, sniff out their seed. In other words, they too dressed up. I know you're cute this morning. I know you're looking good this morning. But when you get sick, those cute clothes you got on can't heal your body. Uh, you can't allow your stuff to make you, make you mess out of what God is doing in your life. Clothes will come and clothes will go. Money will come and money will go. But can't nobody do me like Jesus. Oh, brothers and sisters, if God has been good to you, it matters not what you got on, you ought to praise him anyhow. If you're too dressed up to shout, you're too dressed up. If you're too dressed up to lift up your hands, you're too dressed up. If God has done anything for you, you are not to let the stuff slip out your blessing. Then he ends it by calling another group the fertile soil crowd. Somebody say fertile soil. 
that this represents those who both hear and understand. Yes. Permitting the word of God to produce a bountiful, bountiful harvest. Yes. As I stated earlier, the condition of the soil, which is your heart, yes. determines a particular growth. Yes. It's not that the seed is not coming forth. Yes. Is that your heart is not in the in tune with God to hear what God has to say to you? All right. All right. All right. The people, then, number one, the people of God must desire that their spirit become fertile so that the word of God will produce fruit. All right. All right. All right. How do you know that the saints are the saints? Because we shout. Because we can turn flip. Because we can help up 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 How do we know that the saints is the saints? It's because of the fruit that's on our tree. If you speak in tongues but you don't love folks, something wrong with your fruit. If you have the gifts of the Spirit but not the fruit of the Spirit, something is wrong with your relationship. It's not how high you jump, it's how you act when you get through jumping. Come on, help me, Pat. Come on, help me. Come on, help me. So if you've been changed, it's going to show in the fruit of your life. And when you show enough love for real, you don't have to make it up. You don't have to pretend. Because if it's in you, it's going to come out. Second thing I want to tell you. Preach the word. Hearing and responding to the word of God right. will transform you into the person that God wants you to be. Right. You cannot just hear the word Amen. Sunday after Sunday right. and remain the same. Right. The Bible says in John 8 and 32, and ye shall know yes, the truth. Yes, and the truth shall make you free. So if you hear the word every Sunday and you're still doing the stuff you used to do, something is wrong with your relationship with God. Because the more you hear God's word, the more like God you ought to want to be. I'm glad I got a couple of witnesses in here. Got a couple of witnesses. Y'all don't want to say that to me. I know you're hot. I'm hot too. Hearing and responding to the word of God will transform your life into what God wants you to be. So if you want to get changed, get in God's word. The more you read his word, the more you are changed. I have a few more things to tell you, then I'm going to let you go. Thank you. Okay, thank you, man. Thank you, man. You know, it's so sweet to be able to, to, hear, to have a motherboard and a dicking board and hear, hear, hear Pat over there and the rest of them egging me on. That's the way I was raised. I was raised listening to it. Mother's over there. Preach! Go ahead, go ahead. You know I'm tired. Go ahead. <laughs> Number three. Number three. Fertile soil is showing is allowing the Holy Spirit to do a new thing in your life. Just for scripture references, Isaiah 50, uh, 43 and 19 says, Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and we're rivers in the desert. What, was, what God was saying is when the word get into you like it was with your ancestors. He says the children of Israel, they went through the water. They walked through the fire. But the Lord says, I'm just not going to let you shout based on what I've done for your ancestors. But I want to do a new thing in you. Yeah. 